Oh no. <laughs> this could actually work. Whoops, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> this looks kind of crazy. This is very strange. It's a great idea. <gasps> See something new every day, huh? I think this is one of the best things I've ever made. Welcome back to Chef Out of Water. I'm Alexis, a chef who's always up for a challenge. I've taken to you, internet, to see what appliance I should make a three-course meal with. I'll be tasting everything myself, so I hope it goes well. Let's see what you've chosen. <laughs> ah! I've had nightmares about this moment. I've like had this fear. I've known this in my heart that this was coming, but this is gonna be hard. Look at the surface area. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. My confidence level is a three. First off, I'm wondering how hot all of these tools get. You know, but a hair dryer, I can't imagine it gets very hot. 140 degrees. It's not much you can do with that. Curling iron gets between 200 and 300 degrees usually. That feels a little more promising. Okay, what about a hair straightener? Hair straighteners up to 450. I mean, 450, we can do something with that, right? My confidence level is actually rising. I think I'd put myself at maybe a six at this point. Ideas are starting to flow. I'm still feeling pretty nervous, but I actually have a plan. I'm gonna start backwards like I usually do with dessert. I'm gonna make chocolate covered strawberries with a magic shell. Sounds pretty simple, but I'm using hair tools, so we'll see how that works out. I had an idea that if I put some chocolate in a bowl and then put it over the hair straightener and also use the hair dryer, the chocolate might melt. Oh God. I'm gonna see if just the hair dryer works. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Yes, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. <gasps> Starting to melt. Thank you. I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut oil. That's how it gets that magic shell. <gasps> this is looking so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna grab some strawberries and dip them, see what happens. Luckily, these are very small strawberries. So, wow. I'm shocked, impressed, proud. I mean, this might, like, this could actually work. At this point, my confidence has really shot up. I feel like I'm an eight right now. Let's not get too crazy, but I'm feeling good. And it dries so fast. That's the joy of a magic shell. <sighs> I assume the same thing is gonna work with white chocolate. I don't know why it shouldn't. I think I'm just gonna do some like little decorations so I need less chocolate. I think it should work. Ooh. Polka dotted chocolate covered strawberries made with a hairdryer. Gonna pop these in the fridge. Move on to my next course. For my appetizer course, I'm gonna make blini. They're like little Russian pancakes that get creme fraiche and smoked salmon, sometimes caviar if you're really fancy. And they're usually really small, so I think that'll help me here. But I'm gonna try to make them on the hair straightener. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Got buckwheat flour and all-purpose flour, pinch of salt, a little bit of baking powder, and just whisk this together. For the wet ingredients, I need this butter to be melted, so I thought I could just use the hair dryer again. Whoops! <laughs> Gonna make the executive decision that that's enough butter. It's like a slip and slide over here. And a little bit of milk. Now, wet to the dry. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. And I wonder if I should cover this in tin foil. <laughs> this looks kind of crazy. It's not super secure, but it's okay. And I've got this little cookie cutter, which is actually like kind of the size that you would want Blaney to be anyway. And it barely fits on top. So I'm gonna just spray this cookie cutter down. And then I'm just gonna pour the batter. Ah, 
wonder if I hold this, will be like kind of steam it. This is very strange. I don't know what the cook time on a strainer is. If I was doing this on the stove, a minute or two, and then you flip them, which I haven't quite gotten there yet. It's bubbling, it's cooking, it's so crazy. And, and you can hear it kind of sizzling. Oh God, oh God. Okay, okay. I think with this little plate, if I just have four of these, that's like the perfect appetizer for one. I think I need to wrap the hair straightener more securely in the foil first. And I'm gonna use butter instead of the canola oil. Batter? Hopefully it's fine. <laughs> it smells delicious. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit of creme fraiche, smoked salmon, and then a nice sprig of dill. These are gorgeous. I honestly don't think anyone would know they were made with a hair strainer. My confidence is back up to an 8.5. I'm gonna clean this up and move on to my last course. For my last course, I'm going to make a sandwich, which sounds kind of basic, but this sandwich is going to have steak and grilled onions and blue cheese. Pretty classic combination. And I'm gonna try to use all three hair tools. See how it works. First, I'm gonna start with my onion drizzle with some olive oil. My idea was that I could just put the onions like right in between. <laughs> you can hear it already. Onions and a curling iron. See something new every day, huh? <laughs> it smells pretty good. While the onions are going, I'm gonna move on to my steak. They're definitely getting color on them. It's not quite even. I think letting some of it hang off, I thought I could kind of like smush it back under but I think it all needs to be under the kind of like clamp of the curling iron. Nice. Okay, onions, they're going. Just gonna season the steak with salt and pepper. Wow. Okay, look at that color, it's perfect. Softened, golden brown. Five tiny onions. <laughs> Straightener is ready. Put some olive oil on it. Try with this one. The meat is changing color, which is great. Looks a little gray. These are gonna be mini sandwiches. Ooh, there is a tiny, tiny bit of color. That is some pretty good color. Might be a little overdone, but I wish I could taste it. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. They look kind of gray and sad right now, but at least I'll be disguised in them in a sandwich. Okay, my onions and my steak are done. I'm gonna clean this up before I move on to the bread. So I was thinking that I could cut the crust off and I'm gonna butter it on both sides so that hopefully the bread will get like extra golden brown. A little bit of blue cheese, a few onions, the steak. <sighs> I think it's gonna work. Like the way I've envisioned this, it's like golden brown, beautiful, maybe the blue cheese gets a tiny bit melty. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. It just fits, oh my God. It's definitely flattening, like a panini. There's no color yet, it just looks like it's drenched in butter. I spoke too soon, it's a great idea. <laughs> Okay, it's certainly not what I envisioned, but it smells amazing. I think the flavor is gonna be insane, but it just looks like bad. My confidence level flavor-wise, 10. My confidence level aesthetically is like a one. I'm gonna try the other one with a little bit higher heat. Wow, I was right. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's gonna get better than this. I wish you could smell it though, it smells amazing. I think after all of this, I deserve to eat this food. It's taste test time. Okay, so here's the thing. These two look the prettiest, but I'm most excited about eating this disaster. But like, aesthetically, wow. First up, my little blini with smoked salmon. You would literally never know. 
they're amazing wow honestly 10 out of 10 that is so good now for this the bread was the wrong choice aesthetically but flavor wise this is so good i think this is one of the best things i've ever made on this show no lie 11 out of 10 i kid you not chocolate covered strawberries oh my god i mean they look adorable Mmm. Mm. I mean, you can't really go wrong. It's a great day. Honestly, I exceeded my expectations today. This was amazing. This was such a great day. I feel like it was unexpected. It was weird, but it turned out really well. Let me know in the comments which one of these dishes you would want to eat, and let me know if you try making any yourself. I'll see you next time.